I think the story of this guitar is really about the lessons learned and every evolution of the acoustasonic since the start. When you build acoustic guitars, temperature and humidity are absolutely critical, much more so than with a solid body electric guitar. The evolution of this particular guitar has been really fun and amazing because we captured all of our build processes and build work in Corona, and then we applied that to the design of the actual factory where we we're going to build this guitar in Ensenada. Fender en Ensenada ha estado por más de 35 años en conviviendo con la comunidad y creo que por mucho tiempo ha sido considerada una de las pioneras en la manufactura en la ciudad y promotor enorme de la economía. Uh, ha sido un motor que ha permitido a la ciudad crecer al mismo tiempo que Fender ha crecido en la ciudad. Hace dos años, dos años y medio surgió la propuesta de generar una guitarra de Acustasonic y se planteó la necesidad de buscar un, un lugar donde se pudiera fabricar esta guitarra y lo ideal era Ensenada. O sea, Ensenada fue la respuesta inmediata de toda la organización eh, donde pudiéramos uh, crecer, donde pudiéramos generar este hermoso edificio que cumple con todos los parámetros y todas las características y las condiciones para fabricar este producto. We knew we were thinking about Ensenada. There's a lot of, you know, a lot of work that goes into where exactly do you want to place this new factory. Right about the time that we started the work, the ground was getting prepared right next to the building where we would be building the next for this guitar. And it was like, I think we can make this work. Hay una combinación de factores. Es como cuando se te abre todo el mar y dices, wow, veo la luz. Surge la disposición de un constructor de naves industriales que en ese momento junto al campus de Ensenada donde fabricamos la guitarra eléctrica existía la posibilidad de construir un edificio con las características y dimensiones que nosotros requeríamos para el concepto. This is our wood husbandry room. Everything you see here is wood that is climatizing to current environment conditions. The running rule is that we're going to have 90 days worth of stock here just stabilizing before it goes into production. Wood always is uh, exchanging moisture with the environment. So the moisture in the environment goes up, the moisture in the wood goes up. Up here you see spruce, at the end rosewood for, for bridges and uh, mahogany for, for bodies. Ensenada is unusually humid. We're right next to the beach. That's always been a challenge. I mean, it's a challenge for electrics as well, but in acoustics are especially susceptible to the change because the finish is very thin and the wood itself is very thin, so it moves a lot more than a bigger block. All of the experts uh, that we currently have in Fender at every site, they were like, we really need to watch the humidity content on this instrument because it's gonna move. Uh, and we were really lucky because the owner of this piece of land, which is right next to our current facility, he had a project to build a structure like this for rent. We struck gold, you know, he was going to build it, we needed one. So we came into an understanding and he built it to our specs. We made a large investment in climate controlling all of the production areas for Kusasonic. The walls are insulated, the roof is insulated. Everything here is designed for the flow around the Acoustasonic uh, tower. The first 10 people that we brought into this factory were key players in the current electric guitar factory. They, they are, were aware of the importance of this project and they, they said, sure, you can have my stars, you know. So we brought them over and that, that was actually key to getting it done right the, the first time, right? These people are very, very talented and they're very committed to the work and they're very committed to quality, which has been a great deal of help for this ramp up right now. So it all starts on that other side of the building. 
They supply us with spreads, pickups, and necks. After they build the spreads, we let it sit here for 90 days. A stabilization period, that's what we're calling. This is actually new to Fender. There is no other manufacturing uh, protocol that calls for a stabilization period of wood. Once in production, it goes into the mill, what we call CNC Op 1. That operation is a three-step operation. It does tooling holes, it does the back side, and then we hog out the inside of the guitar, right? Which will give it its acoustic properties. After that, it goes into the wind tunnel. This is like a critical phase in the operation because if that piece of wood is gonna warp, move, crack, or do whatever it's gonna do, it's gonna happen while it's in the wind tunnel. So we leave it there for three days. And it goes on to CNC Op 2, which is getting it ready to receive the top. And we glue the top in that same day. The next step in the process is what we call CNC Op 3, which is the final profile, the arm contour, and uh, getting the tooling holes out. And then it's ready for sanding. Sanding is very critical because this wood is a lot softer than most of the woods we're, we're used to or working with. And the finish is very thin, so we have to pay a lot of attention not to deform any part of it. One sanding process and it goes over to undercoat. It sits overnight, it comes back for light scuff sand, we call intersand. Goes over to final assembly, uh, we glue the bridge on. Uh, next day we install the electronics. We install the neck, strings, final tune testing, all the adjustments. Pack it up, put it in a pallet and ship it. Hace, ¿cuántas personas ¿Por cuántas manos pasa este instrumento para convertirse en esto? Hace, hace un par de meses este, platicábamos con un artista precisamente de eso ¿no? y él nos, nos hablaba de cómo los instrumentos uh, iban tomando algo de alma. ¿no? ¿Por qué? Porque pues, pasa por, por tantas manos. Yo creo que este instrumento debe pasar por no sé, 30, 40 personas. Y bueno, pensando que cada persona que toque ese instrumento deja algo de su, de su energía aquí, este, seguramente, seguramente sí están vivos, ¿no? Este, sí están vivos y pues listos para, para hacer historias nuevas, ¿no? Para, estar, para ir a un, encontrar una casa, encontrar un músico y esperando que haga mucha música muy padre, ¿no? Las cosas que más me enorgullecen de la planta de acustación y no solamente la planta de acustación, sino todo el campus en México de Fender, es uh, la capacidad y el talento humano. Nuestro personal, todos nuestros colaboradores uh, están comprometidos, tienen un enorme sentido de orgullo, de uh, calidad. Somos una organización totalmente orientada hacia la calidad, hacia hacer las cosas bien que nos orgullezca ver que nuestro producto en manos de, de los músicos y de quien las toca tenga las sensaciones de que están tocando el mejor producto que puede haber en el mercado. Fabricado en México, por supuesto. <risa>